Okay, what is up there, YouTube? This is J Man Time, and today I have yet another mystery for you all. Over the last year or so, I've been posting a number of these mystery weapons and tank videos, and today I've come across another mysterious tank or armored fighting vehicle that was spotted this time in Shanghai, China, during the early days of the Second Sino Japanese War. The Imperial Japanese Army actually took over the city of Shanghai, and they also captured captured a number of Chinese arsenals in the city, most notably the Shanghai Arsenal, which was one of the largest arms and vehicle manufacturers in the city for the Chinese Nationalist Forces. The Chinese Nationalist Army, or the Kuomintang, or Kuomintang, had a number of arms and vehicle manufacturing plants in Shanghai and other cities throughout China. Now, the Shanghai Arsenal had been producing weapons since the days of the Qing Dynasty and was later taken over by the Chinese Nationalists during the first Chinese Civil War in the early to mid-1920s. In this photograph, you can see what appears to be either a dismantled or cannibalized chassis of a tank. It looks like a light tank, a tank that is about the size of many of the British and Soviet tanks that were sold to China, like the Vickers Armstrong amphibious tank, or the Cardin Lloyd tanks, or the British Mark E series of light tanks, or maybe even the Soviet the BT-5 and 7 series of light tanks. But this tank chassis doesn't match the known tanks that were sold to China in the 1920s and 30s. Keep in mind, the Chinese had imported a number of tanks from various Western and Eastern countries. Countries including the United Kingdom, France, France, and even Eastern countries like the Soviet Union. And they also had some Japanese tanks captured during the early days of World War II slash the Second Sino-Japanese War. If you look at this tank chassis, it is curved on both the front and the rear of the vehicle, and there also seems to be a flat-headed ball turret or rotating small turret in the front of the vehicle. It also seems to be one in the rear of the vehicle under the body of the Japanese soldier that is seen inspecting this tank chassis. The tracks and the turret and all the weapons seem to have been removed, so I'm assuming this vehicle was most likely cannibalized for spare parts for other tanks and vehicles that were being used by the Chinese Nationalist Forces during the Battle of Shanghai. Just behind this tank is a rare Chinese-made armored car known as the Shanghai Arsenal Pattern 1929. And this was a rare Chinese armored policing vehicle or police armored car that was manufactured by the Chinese Shanghai Arsenal in the 1920s and early 1930s. And some of these were also still in use during the Second World War by both the Chinese nationalists and later some of these were captured by the Japanese and given to the Japanese puppet armies or the Japanese Chinese collaboration armies like in Nanjing and elsewhere. So yeah. So not only do you have a mysterious tank in this photo, you also have a rare armored car that most have never heard of. Now this tank is still a mystery, I can't figure out which country it might have come from, but it might actually be one of the many forgotten Chinese tank projects. Now remember, in the 1920s and 30s, the Chinese were manufacturing their own indigenous made armored cars, and they also made some of their own tank concepts. In the city of Chongqing, back in 1932, there was a Chinese general named General Liu, who came up with his own series of tanks that were based on the American Holt agricultural tractors. This tank might have been one of the many rare one-off tank projects made in China, but was probably never mentioned or documented. And this photo here is probably the only photograph of this vehicle. It might also be the chassis of an unfinished tank project. Maybe the Chinese were trying to reverse engineer one of the tanks that were given to them by the Western or Eastern powers, like the, the British or the Soviets. So it's pretty unknown where this tank came from or what model of tank this was. It's clear that it is a light tank, but it might have been a tank it for all we know. The Japanese Type 94 is roughly the same size as this vehicle. There is no Japanese tank that matches this description. The closest tank that I could find that comes close to this description or the way this vehicle looks are some of the rare British experimental Vickers tanks or maybe even some of the Japanese experimental tanks. But clearly, this vehicle was built or 
at least used by the Chinese before 1937, as this vehicle appears to have been stripped of all of its weapons and fittings, most likely abandoned. The weapons were either taken to be used for other defensive purposes, or this vehicle was probably cannibalized for spare parts and weapons for other armored vehicles being used by the Chinese forces. But yeah, this is one of the rare mystery tanks that I've come across from the Second Sino-Japanese War. It is not the only one, there are tons of other unnamed armored fighting vehicles that appear in China during the years before and during the Second World War, or the Second Sino-Japanese War as it was called back then in China and Japan. So what do you all think of this the rare mysterious tank? Please tell me in the comment section below and until next time, this was J-Man Time signing off.